When it comes to objections, the fact is you're going to get them in sales. The challenge is how do you go about handling them? But more importantly, how do you go about preparing for them before they actually become objections? In today's episode, we're going to talk about that, a different way to look at it by focusing on technology and how this can help us to be able to perform better in our sales role. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist Podcast. I'm your host, Donald C. Kelly, the Sales Evangelist. And I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. And I'm excited for my guest. His name is Art Harding, and he is the Chief Operating Officer as well as the uh, Chief Product Officer at an amazing company called People.ai. And I would highly recommend you check them out. We have some links in our show notes. One of the things that I'm really excited to talk to you about is this notion, though, of digital transformation. Can you like highlight that to us, like what exactly that is and, and maybe how does that, you know, coattail in what we're doing right now or seeing when it comes to sales or, or you know, going, you know, some of the things we might face when it comes to objections yeah. later on? Sure. You know, digital transformation is one of those words that I think our eyes sort of roll when we hear it. Like, ah, oh, we've been talking about this for a long time. We've been selling this to everybody. I know the Uber story. I know the Netflix story. Come on, Art. What's what's the new news? Um, I think we may have missed uh, a little bit of the uh, the storyline as we've watched and sold digital transformation, particularly within the B2B tech space. We've been preaching um, digital transformation which can lead us to thinking it's about technology when at the end of the day, I actually really believe that digital transformation is not a technology play. It's a <clears throat> customer experience, buyer experience, reimagining their journey with us as vendors and then using technology to actually unlock that experience for them. Um, and why this is important is while we've been selling digital transformation to non-digital companies, I believe the digital transformation movement is now impacting us internally in terms of how we market, sell, and service our customers. Whether you're a digital company or not, um, the way we market, sell, and service our companies is changing. Um, it has already started and is going to continue to change in the future. When we do interact with people, that, that human experience suddenly becomes much more amplified. So when we talk about doing discovery calls to understand what outcomes we want to drive for a customer, and our job is to collect objections, um, I think one of the inherent objections today is less and less buyers want to be educated through the process of engaging with salespeople. They want to make a lot more decisions and, and educate themselves where they want us playing as sellers is being able to lead and anticipate where they need to go, how to um, apply our solutions for outcomes, um, not just the initial sale, but the actual recurring delivery of value where if you're selling any form of a subscription, you're gonna wanna expand or upsell that customer. So gone are the days where we just do our discovery qualification and overcome the first objection to get the first sale. These objections are gonna to continue to live on throughout the business process and our discovery cannot just be about our solution and our competitors. It has to be about the challenges that the customer may be experiencing um, and what they're going through. Technology should just help us get to the right people faster and have better, smarter conversations. So gone are the days where you can show up and start asking questions like, tell me about your business. Is it growing? Um, you, you, you cannot show up with these fundamental one-on-one because the expectation is that technology has helped address these answers and we're coming together to solve problems, not to do just raw discovery. Um, so it's actually raising the bar in terms of our responsibility as sellers. There, there's an implicit investment to your point on all of the sharing <clears throat> that people are doing by this data that's flowing through you know, the, the economy now. We have a responsibility to make smart use of it, not only from a compliance and regulatory perspective, but also in terms of delivering that customer experience to your point. They expect me to show up informed about their business. They expect me to understand what their initiatives are. They've been sharing them often very publicly. What they want to know is how do you take what you're selling to help drive that next outcome for them. You were talking about in terms of actually building up or, or in terms of like doing the discovery in terms of in terms of people putting that information out there and when they expect us to show up. They want us to show up informed in terms of how to drive them to take the next step. So when I think about our role as frontline managers or first-line sales leaders in this space today, 
Just like the role of sales, educating customers is diminishing, our role as frontline managers in terms of driving process compliance and governance to internal procedures, that is going down. Technology is removing the need for the frontline manager to remind people constantly about the fundamentals of their job. And what that's doing is creating space where now as frontline managers, we should be leaning in with the people who sell for us and work with us to understand what have you learned about your customer already before engaging with them? What do you plan to learn more when you engage with them and how are you going to lead that conversation forward? And it's going to be very difficult for our teams to be better than we are as frontline managers. And we need to move off of our, jo- our, our mindset that our job as managers is to remind people of what to do, remind them of our sales process, remind them of our internal way of doing things. And because that's no longer as much of our job, how do we now spend more time anticipating objections we might get? Or when we get an objection, what sort of multi-threading discovery do we have to do in an account to, to verify that objection before we start you know, pitching against it? Things like that. Art, you came and you delivered what we asked and more. Um, I think we have a better understanding about digital transformation, how this tie back to objections, and what we can do to move forward as a sales leader or a sales rep. Um, if folks want to get in touch with you because they found your stuff insightful or to learn about your organization a little bit more, what's the best way for them to connect with you? Sure. Um, I'm always on LinkedIn, uh, one of the greatest you know, business communities out there for us all to connect. Or you can also find me at art at people.ai or reach out to your uh, local people team. This is all we talk about at People AI is the future of sales and marketing and how to make better sellers even greater. That was Art, my man. He came and he, ca- he came, he saw, he delivered, and he brought more than I asked for. He just delivered some good stuff. And the best piece about this is that you, as the listener, all you have to do now is just apply it to see the results. I mean, it's not too complicated. If you want to go check out their tool as well, it's amazing, people.ai. You can find more information in the show notes about them. And I highly recommend you to connect with Art on LinkedIn. He uh, he is, uh, again, the people I talk to on the podcast, they're all personable. I'm not going to send you to people who are just going to be you know, jerks. So check out Art. Tell him that you heard him on the Sales Evangelist podcast. You'll be grateful for that. As always, I share stuff like this. I bring on folks like Art. We talk about content like this. We bring sponsors to you that can benefit, that can help you out because I want you to find more of your ideal customers. I want you to know what to say when you reach out to them. I want you to close more deals. But most importantly, I want you to go out and do big things. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching.